Hi, it's Emma and Steve here from Showrooms Online and today we're at Drover's Way Water Beach near Cambridge. Here you can see the amazing double fronted Ascot from Bovis Homes. This spectacular five bedroom house is so full of character from the crisp render to the half tile elevation. It also features this amazing timber porch. Let's go and take a look around. Welcome to the Ascot. Hello. So we're at the uh, we're at we're at the Ascot at Drover's Way, Way. Yes. which is in Water Beach. It is in Cambridge. I'm going to take a look at Cambridge the five-bedroomed Ascot beautiful show home. Here we go. Look, you can see how beautiful it was from the outside there yes. with my introduction there. So what we got then first? We got this lovely wide. Look at this. This is a room in itself. Wow. The entrance hall, isn't it? I knew this was going to be impressive. I could tell from the outside. Beautiful. I mean, this is one of the largest, the largest Bovis designs. Yeah, that, it one is. of one of the largest it to is. do. So, what? How much is this property then? So, what's it been sold for? I think it ranges from around about five twenty. Uh, sorry, eight twenty-five and upwards. I think Ooh. this has been sold for in the region of, of eight seven. God, yeah, that's not bad. And that's with all the bits and pieces yeah. in it, isn't it? Absolutely. You have to be quick sold. if you want to show home, don't you? Sold a seat, yes. I think, and someone is extremely lucky. Yes. Well, let's take a... Well, we started off with an extremely knowledgeable and attentive um, sales lady there. Yes, she was marvellous. Yes. yes. Right, let's start this way then into the dining room. Gosh, those mirrors make it look twice the size, don't mm. they? Right, let's have a look for some measurements then. Dining room, 3.9 by 3.5 in metres. There we go. So they've got eight chairs around the, uh, the table. And some beautiful furniture, additional furniture. Steve, look at the light. It's glasses. Hmm. Oh, tell you what, replacing all them bulbs. Oh. I mean, how many They're is there? Gorgeous. Two, four, six, eight, four. Yeah. Beautiful bay there. This is a double fronted property. Beautiful bay there. It is. It's not, it's quite a shallow bay, but still really is a real feature in the room. This is a very spacious dining room, isn't it? Now this hallway is tremendous, isn't it? It is a room on its own. I would say this is at least three metres wide. Yeah. Absolutely stunning. And all rooms go off from here, don't it's they? It's like a central hub, isn't it? It is, but all... what could you do with this? Well, you've plen just huge, there's plenty you know? of room for additional furniture you've Absolutely. got there. Of course, most people don't have the fire extinguishers right by the front. No, door, no. Do you remember the old days when you used to have a telephone stand? Absolutely. <laughs> with a little seat on it. Oh, yeah. The study. Now this could easily double up as a bedroom, giving this a substantial six-bedroom house. It, it is dressed as a study because yeah. it doesn't have to be. No, I think it'd make a good little bedroom. Well, or a playroom, yeah. uh, a room for your teenagers. Let's have a look for some measurements. Three metres, four by two metres in width. As I've discussed, there's that double bay again, for, uh, so, yes. you know, which is symmetrical with the, uh, the other side. But this is a good-sized room again. Do you think you can get a double bed into here? And a push. Yeah. I don't think you'd want to though, really. Well, you know, I'm just saying, if, you know, if you wanted to. A small to. one. Yeah. I'd, you, believe me, you've got enough bedrooms. I'll tell you what, for nostalgia, uh, do you remember those? Look at, the, look at the nostalgic rubber collection there. I do remember them, but they're not out of fashion. You can ah. still buy rubbers now. What, you know. what, is it true that the, the, the blue one does actually rub out ink? Oh, I don't know. It's meant to be. Any of our viewers know that? Right, we've got a cupboard here then. Oh, it's full of riggers. Rigger boots? Rigger boots. There's loads and loads and loads of pairs. There's a lot of builders that live in this house. Oh my god. <laughs> <laughs> well, that's something you don't see over there. <laughs> it's like a shop for rigger boots. Right, what's this one? Okay, oh, that's your. Uh... Oh, I, th I think I've worked out what they're about. Well, you get a home welcome pack when you buy a bogus house, plus a pair of rigger boots, boots to walk around the building site. <laughs> Until it's finished. Yeah. Right. Oh, okay. So, cloakroom utility. 
I always think this is a great feature. We've seen this in other Bovis house types, haven't we? So they've got some really nice sanitary wear here. That toilet is lovely. So what we're doing, we're looking at ideal standard here. Some really nice tiling going on there. Suspended sink. Yeah. Blue sat on the ground. Right, let's have a look. So we've got one appliance and a cupboard, but I suppose you could have two yeah, appliances. Convert that easy. Yeah, easily. It's got a window, there's the boiler. There's the RCD box, everything is in here. Now that's what I like to see. Good design there, Bovis, good design. But it's also big enough if you've got an air rep, you can yeah. put that there. So you've got all your laundry, everything out of the way, and then you can just shut the door on it, can't you? It's got its own little yeah. window as well. Really good. Really useful with the loo and everything. So what's the little the door there? We just opened that. Oh, the little door? Which little door? This little door. This that's one. on, yeah. That's, we've just been in there, it's the tank. Oh, I had to yeah. Be, yeah. Have you forgotten that already? Yeah, yeah. Okay, right. Kitchen then. <gasps> do you know I feel very at home in this? Both of us do good kitchens, don't they? They certainly do. Gosh, do you know I don't know where to start? Right. Which one do you think is the fridge and freezer then? Um. Just take a while, guess. Fridge There's this so side. Much choice, isn't fridge there? this side. Okay. Maybe it's making a brew. Yes. Hang on. Ah, so, fridge and freezer. God, that's super duper. Yeah, that is a good size. Wow, so you've got both. Two you've ovens. Got, <laughs> in case you want to come two lots of things at the same time. Fantastic. Lots and lots of cupboard space. So we've got cupboards in the corner. Cupboards underneath. Under the sink cupboard. Well, you, you're probably hearing that in the back. Half. You're probably hearing that screaming in the background. Oh, we'll That's come on to that in a minute. We'll come on I to that in a minute. I think you might be finding Nemo. Right. Integrated dishwasher there. More cupboards. Ah, look, big drawers. There we go. I'm quite interested to see what these are. I've not seen this before. So you've got a window, a window on the kitchen there to the side. Yes. These cupboards here. Hmm. I don't know. I don't know whether I like that. I, I don't know what I think about those actually. Would they be better if they went to the ceiling? I think it's because of the worktop is quite dark and it's... Yeah, well let's have a look what's in them anyway. Oh. Just storage. There you go. That's a lot of storage, isn't it? Yeah. So maybe... Customers might not necessarily have this bit then. Do you know what, hats. right? Do you know what? We need a. But I am going to have to get a bovis hard hat. <laughs> Wouldn't that be? <laughs> yeah, you'd like one, and you'd wear yeah, it. Yeah, you know uh, yeah. I think. Yeah. Right. If you, if if anybody's listening, you work for bovis. I would like a bovis hard hat. I promise I'd wear it as well. Right. So if one dining room wasn't enough, you've got another dining table, also with six chairs. We've got additional storage here, yeah. all the way along. I love this. What a great feature. You can put your colouring books, your pencils, your CDs, everything tucked away. Very nice table. It's quite... It's not, well, it's not the dining room, it's just a breakfast table, isn't it, ultimately? Well, it is, but I suppose if you wanted to use the dining room for something else, you've still got a dining area in here. Yeah, this is you? lovely, this little area, isn't it? You've got a family area then at this end, absolutely beautiful. Look at this gorgeous furniture here. It's stunning, isn't it? Do you it? know here though, for me, yeah. the door's going off that way. Yeah. It might have been nice to have a door there. But that's where your patio area is. Mm. What do you mean? You can imagine a big set of bifolders right the way yeah. around that. But they're easy to get to, I think. But I just think it's kind of the big sofa. The big sofa's kind of almost yeah. it interrupts the flow of this. Maybe the sofa should have gone this way. But then some people might have just one sofa rather than a corner sofa. Yeah. Although I think the people have, that have bought this beautiful house have actually bought it fully furnished and I think this sofa mm. works quite well. Yeah. If you come here... Well, there's the contrast of opinions. Yeah, we don't always agree. No. It, this actually takes you right onto the patio, doesn't it? So I think that's actually a very good... And I tell you what, that has got a good lawn for this time of year as well. And they've got a lovely play yeah, area. Yeah, a lovely landscape and garden. And a clock on the wall, look. Yes. You know, look at the tiles, beautiful tiles on these houses, aren't they? Really nice mm -hmm. clay tiles. 
We're not disappointed here, are we? It's really nice. I mean, so, let's have a look for some measurements then. Right, kitchen come family area, so that's the whole thing. Eight metres three in length by four metres five. So this is a significant room. What a great size and absolutely beautiful. Right, so we've got double doors then here, yeah? That take us through into the lounge. But you can also get to the lounge from the hallway as well. So now, two entrances. now let me just talk about Nemo. Now obviously oh, yeah. if you Nemo one of those on. things is when you've got when you come to a show house, you've got the kids with you, yeah. and they're stampeding around everywhere. Nemo. That hit that is the quintessential children's but film. Is this Nemo or is this Finding Dory? Oh, was there a difference? They made another one, didn't they? Did they? Yeah. But that's a good thought by Bovis, isn't it? Good little thought. Keep yeah. the kids happy. Um, yeah, everybody gets yeah. Nemo, don't they? Yeah. So, this beautiful, beautiful lounge, back to the job. Right, lounge. Five metres, five by five, with fivefold right away. Yeah, that's nice. That is. What a fantastic yeah. Feature. I mean, I'm looking back now, that whole back wall is just bifolds, isn't it? It's gorgeous, and it's beautifully finished. Two gorgeous sofas, plenty of room. A really substantial lounge. I do like the doors there through to the kitchen. Very nice feature. And also, if you notice, the kitchen sits out at the back of the house yeah. from, if I can show you on the plan, you can see where the kitchen protrudes. Yeah, well, actually, there it's, at the, it's back the same upstairs. The, 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 yeah. uh, upstairs, so we'd actually, yeah. Beautiful. Right, so we've got the wallpaper as well. Okay, right, so back into the hallway then. And we'll take a look upstairs. Okay. So, we're up here on the first floor. Let's take a little look what we've got up here then. Well, we've, we've got, got a big L shaped landing for a star. Have. We've got five bedrooms, bathrooms, en suites, dressing rooms. There's so much of everything. Yeah. So, this landing takes us back towards the front of the house. So that window gives quite a lot of light, doesn't it, onto this landing. Mm. So we've got a nice little cupboard. Yeah, there's a cupboard there. Yeah. So this is on the landing above the hallway. Yeah. Yeah. Right, and we've got bedroom two at the front of the house. Oh, look at the light coming through that window there. Very bright. It really yeah. is bright. So over, so over, over the, you've got those lovely open fields there above the. Um, these Cambridge are all in fields. Look at them, they're so nice. And there's a railway on the, over there. So, the railway. Let's yes. talk about the amenities. Yes. So, Water Beach, Water Beach Village. It, I tell you what, driving through it, it did feel like a really nice, close-knit village to me. Yeah. There used to be an RAF base here. I think then it went into Army, and now it's all been, <laughs> it's been sold off parts of it, and then it has, it's yes. being redeveloped. So, yeah. what there's about quite a lot of development so, going on around here? What about the, the village itself? Well, we're approximately just under nine miles from the centre of Cambridge, so that's your your biggest city for your larger shops, that kind of thing, and your superstores and whatever. But within a local vicinity, we've got good schools. You've got a senior school within three to four miles. Local amenities like doctor's surgeries, vets, small shops, etc., within a very close proximity. So it's very well situated. And as we said, it has its Water Beach has its own little railway station with a direct line straight into London really great for commuters. So, and the river's just up the road, and I, I heard that there's actually a footpath that you can actually walk into Cambridge along the river. How nice would that be? That's great, yeah. Well, let's get on with this room then. Okay, so this room is directly above the study. To give you can you see that lovely bay window as well. That just runs up from, from the, uh, the lounge. There's some beautiful furniture in here, actually. It's really lovely. Okay, so they've got a double bed. You could put a slightly bigger yeah. bedroom if you wanted, a lovely dressing area. But it's got a little dressing room there. It's the Hall of Mirrors, isn't it? Yeah. Plenty of hanging space Oh, you'd have there. to like looking at yourself with all them mirrors in there. It is a lovely old like. Ladies love a dressing room. So off this we've got an ensuite as well. Um, so we've got the ideal standard sanctuary where the bovis push flush there. And we've got Quite a large shower in here, but one shower head. But um, that's a really good size. We've got a nice window as well, yeah, letting a bit of light in. Light, which yeah. is lovely, isn't it? 
incidentally, bedroom two dimensions are just over four metres by two metres nine. Okay, so if we go back around to the other side at the front of the house, we've got bedroom three there. Again, we're above the dining room now, and that bay window comes up with those beautiful views over the countryside there. And that shows a bit more about this village, that you are right on the edge of the countryside. What a beautiful room with a low bed. That, that is wall is absolutely amazing, isn't it? Beautiful bedroom. I love the pink and grey. So, bedroom three. We're above the dining room here. Three metres five by two metres nine. Lovely. So what are you thinking about the Bovis interior design just lately? Beautiful in this. There's a bit of a change, yes, isn't definitely. there? Definitely. Main bathroom there. And you can see that Bovis toilet there is just completely suspended there. Really nice, really good for cleaning as well, Alice, isn't it? Yeah, it's a bathroom with its own window. And it's got a large bath and a separate shower. Yeah, so again, shower door, you've got a large shower. Um, one shower head, the same as yours, but, but that's pretty good though. You've got two rooms here, well almost two rooms with an ensuite, in, that's including the, the master and a family bathroom too. Yeah, so you're just going into bedroom four there. Dimensions are just over three by two metres eight. So this is at the back of the house. We are above the lounge here, aren't we? Yes, overlooking the back garden. Well, you can see in the back garden, it's actually, it's, oh God, the grass is really nice and it's really nicely landscaped. You can see the crisp render of this property and the lovely slated roof. So you've got this mix of slate and then them lovely um, um, clay tiles there. Really, really nice look to this development. Got a lovely locker room type, type wardrobe there. Yeah, it's nice. And the tractor. Yeah. Okay, so again, at the rear of the house, next door we've got bedroom five, which is the smallest room. And oh, it's absolutely beautiful. Right, bedroom five, three meters nine by two meters four. What a beautiful wall. So, what is that song? <laughs> you, you can read music, I can't. There is a big clue. I'm not even going to say, I'm just going to uh, let, let everybody else uh, have a look at it and decide. Well, that, that can be the question for the viewers then. Who knows what this song is? There's a clue on it though. Is there? Yeah. Okay, right. Right, okay. Uh, clearly I'm missing it then. Right, last but not least then, we've got bedroom one, which... Is, is a suite essentially because it's got rooms within rooms. Isn't that beautiful? I just love the accessories. Oh, look, that's the uh, that's the bride and groom. That's who lives okay, here. Okay, so I can actually shut the door then to bedroom one and then it's got rooms within rooms. So, dimensions for bedroom one are four metres five. So, look at the details here. The, the by just three metres seven. The detail in here is really correct. So what you've something. got here then is a dressing room within bedroom yeah. one as you come in. Um, you can shut the door on it. You've got plenty of hanging space there then, all along that wall. You've got an area there where you could have a dressing table, there's room for your hair dryer, but it's also got its own window, so you've got lots of natural light. What does this say? Keep your heels, head and standards high. Coco mm -hmm. Chanel. Very true. So we've and got. It's, and it's got an ensuite off the dressing room. Now, this ensuite's a little bit different because it has a bath. It does. You don't see that very often, do you? Yeah, so that's quite true. nice to see that. It is light and light in here, really nice. Um, even with the lights off, I think it'd be quite a little bright room. A little sun trap, but really nice. Got the. It um, certainly feels very luxurious. Yeah, it, a large sh you've got that large shower room there. Some you nice tiles as well. You've got a, diff a slight difference in the uh, in the tiles from the inside the shower to outside. So that's really nice. So we're really pleased with that. Really nice. Okay. So here, that's the way back out onto the landing. But we've got a a little walkway then through into the main area of bedroom one. So as I said, bedroom one is four meters five by three meters seven. And that's just, I think, for this bit. Yeah, so we're actually above the the 
kind of uh, family room at the back of the yeah, we're lounge. At the back of the kitchen, the bottom end of the kitchen, the extended so yes, kitchen. Yeah. Yeah. Wow, isn't this beautiful? An absolutely gorgeous bedroom. I, I'm a big fan of ceiling to floor curtains. I think they're gorgeous. But actually, let's take a look out here from the bedroom. So this is the main road into the development. Yeah, this there. is what you'll see from this bedroom window. It's really nice. It's just. It's very vibrant looking well isn't it's it? starting to take shape as well isn't yeah. it right let's shut the lovely curtains you could fit a much bigger bed in here if you yeah. wanted couldn't you i mean they've got some absolutely stunning beautiful furniture in here this lovely chaise it's just gorgeous the entire the interior design in this house is, is stunning really really super and i love the way that you enter bedroom one through this yeah. small, I wouldn't call it a corridor, what would you call it? A, an entrance, yeah. isn't it? Yeah. yeah. Really nice. It does certainly make you feel like you're separate, but you can shut the door on everyone else. Well, did you enjoy that? I certainly did. It's an absolutely beautiful house. Let's take a look. There we are. So it's the five bed Ascot. Ascot. Yeah at Drover's Way in Water Beach. Well, you can see any other Bovis designs. This, de this, this had the Ascot house type. Let's just get Steve on we'll as well. Do it, I'll tell you what, we'll do it in the mirror. Hello. I'll tell you what, let's sit down. Yeah, on here. Yeah. Oh. Can you see us? <laughs> it's a bit weird. Yeah. Let's take a look. Anyway, let's take a look. Um, a little little you can see any of these um, house types by Bovis um, on, their, on their website, which is www.bovishomes.co.uk. Um, and the Ascot is available on, on a lot of different developments all over the country, so you know, keep an eye open. Yes. Um, and go on, Emma. But uh, let us know what you think of this house. Bovis is certainly very interested to know if you're looking to buy uh, not necessarily just an Ascot, but are you looking to buy a Bovis house or on this development in this area? Let us know. But we're always very interested to know what you think of the, of the houses that we've looked at yeah. and what your opinions are. And so I think well, Bobby would know. like to know what you think about them Most as well, certainly. really. You yeah. know, because we're yeah. not critics. We're not the critics. We're not. Here, we're not here to critique the house. Mm. We're here to kind of show you what we yeah, think we're here about to show it. Show you what we see. Yeah. Well, until don't forget to subscribe. Yeah, it's important. We need we keep those subscribers coming. We do appreciate it. Yeah, we do. And um, you know, Bobby's Homes have got their own YouTube channel as well. So you want to take a look at that. Um, until next time, thanks for watching. Bye.